So ACS recently gave us their third quarter business update and let me tell you a lot of interesting news was shared. For example, the Blue Walker 3 launch might be delayed by months. I will tell you everything you need to know about that delay and much more in this video. Hey, value investors, how are you doing? My name is Tyne and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now let's get into it. The first update, ASTS has entered into an agreement to acquire a 100,000 square feet facility in Midland, Texas. This is in addition to the current 85,000 square feet facility in Midland, Texas too. According to the CEO himself, the company plans to make this facility highly automated. The second facility should help ASTS reach their goal of producing six satellites per month. And apparently the two facilities are located quite closely together and are both connected by train. As an investor, this is quite amazing news. It is great seeing ACS working hard with the future in mind. After all, the launch of Blue Walker 3 is just the beginning. By the way, for those of you that don't know, Blue Walker 3 is the satellite that is planned to go up in the first half of the next year. More on that exact timing in just a bit. However, Blue Walker 3 is just that one satellite. It will prove to us that ASTS know what they're doing and it will de-risk the investment for the whole world to see, but it is still a stepping stone. And it is great seeing ASTS already plan ahead and already plan further along than just the first big satellite. Their collective minds are already cracking the second, third, 10th and 100th satellite launch. As a long-term investor, this is exactly what I like to see. So the second update ASTS just revealed is a bit more technical, so please bear with me. This is extremely important to understand. When creating the system needed to function as the brain of the satellite in space, ACS can go two main routes. First, ASIC or application specific integrated circuit. This is just fancy language for a chip specifically designed for one task only. This is often cheaper, easier to do, but it also allows for no customizability after the thing is shut up to space. The second route ACS could go is FPGA or field programmable gate array. Array. This is just fancy language for a system that is designed to be programmable even after it already has been deployed. This is generally more expensive, but it would allow for way more customizability for ACS even after the satellite has already been shut up to space. And I believe the CEO Abel just showed us the tip of the big brain iceberg they've got over at ASTS. You see, ASTS has this really nice philosophy. Do the hard things down here on Earth where the problems are easily and cheaply fixable. And keep all the space stuff as easy as possible. And it seems that ASTS is still subscribing to that strategy. As per the CEO, so Blue Walker 3 will be based on FPGA. Our first initial subsequent satellites are also going to be based on FPGA. So we have now learned that the first satellites will be powered by FPGA or the Field Programmable Gate Array System. And this would allow ASTS to add, change or update the functionality of Blue Walker 3 even if the satellite's already up in space. And the reason on the FPGA is basically to be able to reprogram the technology even when the satellites are flying. Obviously this is something that you cannot do with the ASICs. So again, keep the space stuff as simple as possible. Go for the customizable option first. And once they do figure out what functionality they want in their satellites exactly, they can build an ASIC for that need specifically. After all, once they do go for ASIC, their satellite will be significantly cheaper to produce. But decreasing the cost is more important when you start mass producing these satellites and the first satellites will not be mass produced. So it seems obvious that it's way better to go for the customizable option first. Again, the CEO Abel, so you see in our business plan, initial satellite costs more than the latter part of the satellite, but by the functionality, they will be equivalent. Also, there is a potential second added benefit of this FPGA system. When the equatorial satellites are fully launched, some of these sets can be set to explore alternative slash dual use mission cases, of which there are many for huge software defined phased arrays. And this is of course, according to Katze Apex on the AST Space Mobile subreddit, Credit to these guys, they are doing amazing work. Anyways, this just means that ASTS could use these satellites for an alternative use in the future if they so desire. And they can, of course, diversify the revenue streams in doing so. And the third update, Blue Walker 3. 
did the launch get delayed or not? Well, as per the CEO Abel, we're using SpaceX as a launch provider for Blue Walker 3, and the current launch window with the SpaceX runs from March 2022 through April 2022. So this is the well-known launch window. This is the launch window ASTS was showing on their investors presentation, and this was the launch window I was telling you guys about. However, we have the option to pick an alternate launch window. We have to give SpaceX a notice by November 1st, 2021 on Day of Revoke, and we'll see. We have not yet determined if we will revoke. And he added, if we determine that we are going to exercise our right to remove the launch, we are very likely to plan the launch within a month of the original launch window. So guys, there's nothing to really worry about. Sure, Blue Walker 3 might be delayed, but if it is, it is likely to be laid by just a month. I think worst case, you and I can be patient until May instead of April. After all, the most important thing is that Blue Walker 3 becomes a success. If that means waiting for one more month to complete all the complicated stuff down here on Earth where problems can be easily fixed, well, more power to Able for making that decision. Additionally, there are a couple of smaller updates which will go through a bit quicker. First, the CEO stated that ASTS now controls the technology of 1600 patents and patent claims. That is new because previously we were only aware of 1200 patents and patent claims. So ASTS seems to have expanded their competitive advantages with 33% over a quarter. Quite amazing. Second, ACS has added three MOUs over the quarter. MOUs are basically letter of intents. These are often not binding, but they show the intent of collaboration happening in the future. The most important of these three new partners is MTN Group, which is a mobile service provider mainly operating in Africa. MTN is a huge provider in the equatorial regions of Africa. So MTN should be an amazing partner for ASTS. In total, ASTS now has access to 1.5 billion subscribers just like that through the power of collaboration and this this is what will allow ASTS to generate a lot of revenue from their services without spending any money on advertising or gaining subscribers third update ASTS might be working on a system where they are able to use previously thought dead space inside of a rocket as shown as in this drawing from Katze Apex so bluebirds might be able to fit inside of the steel metal tube in the inside of the rocket which is mainly there for rigidity so normally the inside of this steel tube is hollow and wasted space be aware this is still a rumor but if it is true this is huge news for ASTS this would save a lot of cost for ASTS when they are launching their satellites and it would allow for bluebirds to go on rockets that were previously thought full. If you want to learn more about the specific rumor definitely check out this post. By now I think we've covered most of the important Q3 updates of ASTS in this video. If you have any remaining questions do make sure to leave them down below as a comment and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Also definitely check out my video everything you need to know about ASTS. It should form as a nice starting point in your investment research. Additionally I will leave a link to the meeting transcript as well as the AST Space Mobile subreddit in the description so you can check both out if you would like. Enough from me I really hope you guys enjoyed this video video and if you did please give it a like and maybe subscribe comment down below what you want to talk about next and i'll see you guys in the next one peace